you are all enjoying my videos and I'm sure that you are learning French sitting at home. If you are viewing my channel for the first time, please make sure to press on the bell icon and also to subscribe my channel. If you have any doubts, please feel free to write in the comment box. I will revert. As promised in the last class or in the last video that I will be coming up with the new topic that is on accent marks, vowels and the punctuations. But before going into the today's video, let us have a quick recap on the last video which was on alphabets. Lesson 2. In this lesson, we are going to learn Les Voyelles in French. In French, we have seven vowels which we call it as Les Voyelles. Let us examine each one of them. The first one, A, as it sounds in the word Ami, in French which means friend or attention which means attention or the word agreeable which means agreeable the second vowel is a which sounds as m the reflexive pronoun or le the french definite article or in the word je as it sounds a the third vowel is I, which in French is E, as it sounds in the word ami, the E sound, or li, which means bed, or the word livre, which means the book. Then comes O, the word sounds as luto, or we call it as do, do as used in French as the bag, or the word trop trop means too much and the word is the next word is u which means uh, uh, u sound and in the letters like uh, jupe as it sounds jupe in french means shirt or in the word like uh, bus the u sounds in that way or the subject pronoun tu the second letter is h in french we call it as Ash. It is not actually a pure vowel. It is considered as the semi vowel. The another vowel that we use in French is Y. That is also not a pure vowel. It is also a semi vowel. In French, we sound it as Y. Now, let us know what a semi vowel is. In phonetics or phonology, a semi vowel or glide is a sound that phonetically similar to a vowel sound but functions as a syllable boundary. Examples of semi vowels in English are the consonants Y and W, and in French they are H and Y. H is a mute consonant in French. It changes the word SH and otherwise it is not pronounced. This is what we need to understand about the vowels in French. So you understood that in French we have seven vowels. They are in English when we say A, E, I, O, U, H and Y. Whereas in French the pronunciation, the sound you have already seen. So we need to sound the French words according to that. Coming up next is the accents. The accents in French. Let us learn in details the accent marks used in French. What are accents? An accent mark may change the sound of a letter, meaning of a word or replace a letter that existed in Old French. Or an accent marks are 
used only on vowels. You need to keep in mind that accent marks are used only on vowels and under the letter C. That's only exceptional consonant that we use it while marking the accent marks. The rest all the accents are used on the vowels whereas the only one accent that is used in a consonant that is what we are going to learn that is in French which are they. In French we use five different types of accents or diacritic. What are they? The first one is Sidil. Just now I told you that the only one consonant under which we use the accent mark is Sidil. The Sidil, last Sidil, what we call it in French. Let us look into what is Sidil. The Sidil in French looks like a little squiggle beneath the letter C. This accent marks only goes with this letter as, is, as we said before it is a consonant and the only one consonant which are uh, where we use the accent mark in French. It is simple a simple of uh, understanding that Sidil uh, sounds uh, or pronounce the words in French when you need to sound it as S or else it is pronounced as K that is when you use Sidil under C, it sounds as S and not as K. But it doesn't mean that all the times we use the Sidil under C. It is only when we need to sound C as S, you use the Sidil. You will only ever see the Sidil before an A, O or U. Remember that. See, before E or I is pronounced like S always. So it doesn't make any changes. The common word which I would like to tell you, which you can usually see in the usage in French, they are the word garçon. In this word, C comes before O and C needs to be sounded as S. So you put a C D. Garçon in French means either a boy or a waiter. It is also used under the word Francais, where in the French used to sound that C as S. And here also you can see that the word Francais comes, C comes off before the A word, A letter. The next accent is the acute accent or we call it as accent aigu. Let us see what it is. The acute accent is only ever found above E. Its role is to change the pronunciation of the vowel. An unaccented E can be pronounced several different ways. But when you use the accent ague on top of E, the word is pronounced as A. In the letters in English like say and ve. This is the way E sounds when you use the acute accent or the accent acute on top of E. So try to say A sound while using the words in English like say or way. Now next comes the next accent is the accent grave. We call it as lexon grave in French. Let us have a closer look into this accent. The graph accent can be found above an A, E, I, O or U. Now let us see what's the role of accent graph. Firstly, it is used on A or U. It distinguishes words which have the same pronunciation but different meaning. It sounds same but their meanings are different. Let us see how it changes the meaning when we use A with an accent or without an accent. When A is used without an accent, it is used as a verb. Whereas A with an accent is used as a preposition. Similarly, U means where. An accent graph on U changes the meaning of the word into where 
and an accent graph when we don't use it on u it means or so here you could understand that by adding an accent on a or u changes the meaning of the word now let us see the next accent which is in french is the circumflex we call it as lexon circumflex the circumflexes which looks like a little pointed hat can be found above all five vowels in french its usage is somewhat complicated firstly let me tell you how to pronounce a o or u a is pronounced roughly like an english a as in american word like use like a hut or in the british but and the o is pronounced like an english o as in get and it also changes to a graph accent mark now when we use the pronunciation or the accent in u it pronounced roughly like an english o like boat or close it's the same sound from in the french word o about which we will be study later now the interesting fact you need to know about the lexon circumflex is it takes the word like for example we will take the word foret f o r e t which means in french as the english word forest as you might guess the english and the french word share the common root we have seen in the previous lesson that the uh, alphabets of uh, english and the french are similar then how do they differ in the spellings in few words now the forest word in french is sounded as foray and you can also see the word letter written as f o r e t whereas in english it is written as f o r e s t as time went on the french people stopped pronouncing the s but they continued to write it it was a silent letter of which english has many eventually it was decided to change the spelling of the word to remove the superfluous of the s in that particular word but for whatever reason the french didn't want to erase all traces that this s had existed so it was decided and to add the circumflex to the top of e in its place the circumflex is an etymological tombstone it tells that there was an s in that particular word let us compare here few english words with the, the french e the word in french we call it as u with a circumflex on u on u in english and forest is sounded as foray hostel is sounds it sounded as hotel or the hospital word in french is sounded as hopital so you can see there is a circumflex on top of u a circumflex on top of e a circumflex on top of o in front the word hospital and uh, hotel or hostel so these are the distinguished use of the circumflex as said before the circumflex also change the meaning of the word the way it is used for example i would like to tell you here the french word like sur which is on uh, s u r or the other word as well as s u r the circumflex word on top of u means a different meaning whereas the sur has a different meaning the one word is uh, sur is taken as a preposition and the other word means certain so the word with the circumflex has changed the meaning so you can see as we discussed before also the usage of circumflex may change the word meaning as well and not just the removal of the s sound from the word now let us come to the last accent mark that is the therema the therema in french is a lexon therema and it is also used on e e or u and let us see how it is used in what context in french the therema works the same way and it's much more common than in english 
it's written over the sound of two vowels to tell you that that they must be pronounced separately the two vowels used must be pronounced separately whereas without the accent they might combine into a completely different sound so when two vowels comes together in the same word the second vowel needs to be sounded that is the use of therema in french let us look into some of the example words like for example you can say jamaica jamaica so a and i the i will take a therma and it's stressed similar is the word noel noel which means christmas you can see the therma used on the e so sound it as the stressed vowel that comes to the end of the accent marks let us now look into the pronunciation used in french i'm going to discuss here the pronunciation symbol the word used equivalent in french and what it means in english and at the same time the pronunciation of that symbol so the first one is full stop in english we call it as period as well in french it is called as or it sounds as point you can see the pronunciation le point it means full stop of period in french the second symbol you can see it's used as comma we call it in uh, french comma and in french it sounds as or the word used is virgule la virgule the sound pronunciation la virgule you use it with an article it sounds as la virgule the third one is colon in french we call it as do point and you can see the pronunciation le do point so colon in french is known as le do point or the sound we call it as do point the next one is semicolon in french we call it as point et virgule le point et virgule you have to keep in mind that uh, the pronunciation the way we use it in english there is no difference in the way we use in french it is used in the same manner but with the way they sound they are totally different and the names given to them in french and english are also different up next is the exclamation mark which in french we call it as a point the exclamation or we sound it or pronounce it as le point de exclamation and the next mark the point of mark is the question mark pronunciation or the we call it as the punctuation question mark in french we call it as point de interrogation point de interrogation or in french with the article use le point d'interrogation this is a very different usage the quotation mark the symbol is also totally different from the way you use it in english in english for the quotation mark we use the double inverted commas whereas here you can see that it is used in a totally different symbol and we call it as leguima leguima is a totally different usage in english as well as in french and the last one here the most important though we you do we don't use in a very usual context but yes this is also one among the punctuations that we keep using while writing and that is the usage of dash in english which we call in french as le tir le tir that is a one of the usage extra uh, the mark that we use it as punctuations so yes i'm sure that you got a clear understanding about the vowels in french the accent marks in french and also the use of punctuations in french i'm sure you will be practicing all this and then you will be becoming expert in using the vowels the accent marks and the punctuations in french accent marks as said before are very important because the missing of accent marks in a french letter is like committing or writing a wrong spelling so please make sure to practice all this in a very appropriate way i'm sure this video has helped you in understanding the french accent marks and the punctuations used in french they are very important in french so please keep practicing please do take good care of your health and keep watching my videos thank you